This month, Facebook once again found itself in a whistleblower scandal. This time, former employee Francis Haugen claimed that the social media giant knowingly promotes divisive and harmful content. It's also been reported that Facebook would be changing its name, although most of its more unsavoury users would only be annoyed if it announced it was changing its pronouns. <laughs> to talk about this and hopefully show how we here at Late Night Mash can get a few clips going viral on Facebook, here's comedian and computer scientist Olga Koch! <laughs> Thanks for having me back, Nish. Yeah, I mean, listen, Olga, we kept calling comedy agents saying, do you have any women comedian computer scientists? And they're like, it's still just Olga. We told you last week. <laughs> the Venn diagram circles of female computer scientists and comedians touch so tangentially that it literally looks like a pair of fake tits. <laughs> so, Olga, how can we get MASH going viral on Facebook? Well, you can find the answer to going viral in Frances Haugen's testimony to the U.S. Senate subcommittee and from her interview with 60 Minutes. My old pal Frankie Haugen explains that, in pursuit of profit, Facebook ends up promoting content that harms children, sows division, and undermines the democratic process. Frankie undermines her own heterosexuality after a few tequilas. <laughs> but don't we all, Nish? <laughs> Sorry, do you actually know each other? Yes, all hot women in computer science do. We got into it on the same scholarship designed to make sure male computer scientists see at least one pair of boobs before they graduate. <laughs> Truly, God's work. <laughs> what we learned from Frankie is that Facebook makes more money when users consume more content. And it turns out that users tend to engage with posts that elicit a strong emotional response. The angrier they get, the more they interact, and the more they consume. So, uh, yeah, the company monetizing the anger of nearly three billion users might have something to do with the increasingly divided political landscape. You know, the way Adele's new song might have something to do with the spike in seasonal depression. <laughs> and honestly, it makes sense. More extreme opinions do lead to stronger responses. Take a look at these status updates. Nish is quite good on Late Night MASH. Respect. Thank you, Bishop. A gentle post, only a very slight reaction from Nish. But now, look at this. I live next door to Nish Kumar, and he plays Enya at antisocial volumes. <laughs> well, it's not my fault you don't know how to feel, Roy Hobbs! <laughs> you see, divisive and aggressive content gets an emotional response, which for Facebook means clicks, shares, comments, more engagement, more eyeballs, and higher advertising revenue. So, Olga, have political parties spotted this issue and are they dealing with it? <laughs> they have spotted that Facebook promotes more polarizing content, but so far, many of them are dealing with it as a political strategy by adopting more extreme views in order to get engagement. This is incredible. So you're saying that if we say something controversial, we could increase our online engagement? On another note, I don't care for the Korean pop group, BTS. <gasps> no! <laughs> They'll come for you, Nish. So, what, what do we do? We should use the viral format for good to get public info messages out, Nish. Let's take a page out of the right-wing pundit playbook and use clickbaity headlines to trick people into doing the right thing for public health. Like, five fruits and vegetables the liberal media don't want you to eat. <laughs> Hillary Clinton's secret plan to put cancer in cigarettes? <laughs> Woman saves 10,000 pounds a year doing makeup on only half her face. <laughs> OK, that is actually an amazing idea. So how do we get late night mash going viral? I've taken a look at some of your latest clips to see how I could optimize them for a discourse hungry content goblin such as yourself. <laughs> look at my segment from the other week. Yeah. What does it mean to be British with Olga Koch and Nish Kumar? Yeah, it's great. It was really good. Nish, where's the drama? How about Russian woman destroys Koch's British liver? <laughs> Much better. Okay, thank you very much to our female scientist, Olga Koch!